Hello children, how are you all? Welcome to online edu classes. Today we are going to learn chapter number 11, Perimeter and Area, part 6. Children, I am going to show a very interesting object now. Yes, it is an orange. You must be wondering what I am going to do with an orange in a mathematics class. We will soon find out. Now I will cut this orange into thin slices. Okay children, can you see the slice here? Yes. Now what is the shape of this slice? Yes, it is in the shape of a circle. It is in the shape of a circle. Then what can be the circumference of this slice? Yes, the circumference of this circular slice will be 2 pi r. It will be 2 pi r. Now children, can you see the wedges inside this slice? Can you all see the wedges inside this slice? How many wedges are there? There are 10 wedges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. There are 10 wedges. Now children, you know what I am going to do? I am going to cut this slice from the center along the edge of any wedge. I am going to cut this slice from the center along the edge of any wedge here. Then you can see the figure what it has formed. See, can you all see all the 10 wedges standing on this rind? Yes, you can see all the 10 wedges standing on the rind of the slice. Now children, the length of this wedge, the length of this wedge will give you the radius of this circular slice. The length of this wedge will give you the radius of this circular slice. This is the length of the wedge. Understood? Now, the length of this rind, the length of this rind will give you the circumference of this circular slice. The length of this rind will give you the circumference of this circular slice. Understood children? Is it clear? Now, if, if I am going to cut, if I am going to cut this rind into two equal halves, if I am going to cut this rind into two equal halves, you can see from the figure, you can see from the figure, I have cut this rind into two equal halves. So each rind is having how many, so how many wedges? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So each rind is having 5 wedges. Can you, is, is it clear? Now what will be the length? What will be the length of this rind? Now what will be the length of this rind? Yes. It will be the length. It will be the length of a semicircle or half the slice of half the circular slice. It will be a semi it will be the length of the semicircle or the length of the half slice. Understood, child children? Is it clear? Then you can see from the given figures also. I have removed the pulp. You can see easily it is making a semi two semicircles here. Can you see the two semicircles here formed by the rind? Yes. So now can you tell me? What will be the length of each semicircle? What will be the length of this each semicircle? Yes, it will be pi r. It will be pi r because it is half of 2 pi r. It is half of 2 pi r. Understood children? Is it clear? Children, we are going to learn how to find the area of a circle. Till now, we learned how to find the area of polygons like rectangles, squares, parallelograms, triangles, etc. etc. To find the area of these polygons, we used length, breadth and height. Then how can we find the area of a circle? It is not a polygon, but a closed curve. Yes, children, how to find the area of a circle? For that, I have taken a circle of radius r. I have taken a circle of radius r and then I divided the circle into 12 
congruent sectors. I have divided the circle into 12 congruent sectors. Now, what is a sector, children? What is a sector? A sector is the area. Sector is the area enclosed in between two radii and an arc of the circle. What is a sector? It is the area enclosed in between two radii and an arc of the circle. Understood children? Here I have colored six sectors with red color and six sectors with blue color. I have colored six sectors with red and six sectors with blue. Understood children? The red and the blue colored parts of the circle. The red and the blue colored parts of the circle form two congruent semicircles. Two congruent semicircles since all the sectors are congruent. Since all the sectors are congruent. Understood children? Then I have cut the red colored sectors. I have cut the red colored sectors and arranged them as shown in the picture. You can see them, how I have arranged it. In the same way, I arranged the blue colored sectors. I have arranged the blue colored sectors. You can see. After this, I have joined both these sectors. The red colored and the blue colored sectors, I have joined them. You can see the animation, how I have joined them. Now children, tell me what is the figure so formed? What is the figure so formed by these sectors? Can you all tell me what is the figure so formed? Yes, it looks almost like a parallelogram. It looks almost like a parallelogram. You can see that. You can see a parallel parallelogram enclosing these figures. Did you all see? Yes. Now, if we divide the circle into more sectors, if we divide the circle into more sectors, then the figure will take the shape of a rectangle. Then the figure will take the shape of a rectangle. Thus, we see that the area of the circle, thus we see that the area of the circle will be given by the area of the rectangle, will be given by the area of the rectangle. But what is the area of a rectangle? Yes, the area of a rectangle is given by the length and the breadth, product of the length and the breadth of the rectangle. What is the area of a rectangle given by? It is given by the product of length and breadth. Now children, since the area of the circle and the rectangle are equal, then what is the length of the rectangle given by? What is the length of the rectangle given by? Yes, the length of the rectangle is given by the length of the semicircle. It is given by the length of the semicircle. But what is the length of the semicircle? It is equal to pi r. Why it is equal to pi r? Because the, the length of the semicircle is half of the circumference. It is half of the circumference. But we know children that circumference is equal to 2 pi r. So length of the semicircle is equal to pi r. Understood? Then what is the Breadth of this rectangle, the breadth of the rectangle is equal to r or it is the radius of the circle. It is the radius of the circle. What is breadth? Breadth is given by the radius of the circle. Did you all understand children? Now, thus we find that the area of the circle is equal to area of rectangle that is equal to length into Breath. We will continue in the next slide, children. Children, here 
the two lengths of the rectangle is equal to the circumference of the circle that is equal to 2 pi r. So, length of the rectangle is equal to half of the circumference or it is equal to the length of the semicircle. So, that is equal to half into 2 pi r is equal to pi r. So, and breadth of the rectangle is equal to r. So, now we know the length and the breadth of the rectangle. So, it is easy to calculate the area of the circle. So, area is equal to the length of the rectangle, sorry, uh, area of the rectangle. So, instead of writing area of the rectangle, I can just write length into breadth. But what is length? Length is equal to pi r. And what is breadth? Breadth is equal to r. So, area of the circle is equal to pi r into r. That is equal to pi r square. So, area of the circle is equal to pi r square. What is area of the circle? Area of the circle is given by pi r square. Thank you children. Have a nice day.